And tonight, the Alabama Department of Environmental Management hosted a public hearing about coal ash at Alabama Power's Berry Steam Plant in Axis. The federal government passed legislation a few years ago ending the practice of using ponds to store toxic coal ash. Alabama Power now has two options, cap the coal ash in place right off the bank of the Alabama River or transport it to an inland landfill, a much more expensive proposition. Dana Winter was at the hearing tonight in Sarah Land. The proposal on the table includes reducing plant berries footprint from 600 down to 300 acres. It adds a secondary 22 foot dike and a scientifically engineered top capping the coal ash in place. Due to coronavirus, people wanting to give their opinion entered the room one at a time. There are risks associated with both options. You know, closing in place has its risk and uh, we're confident that the risk of closing in place are much lower than moving. it. We know the ash pond is causing significant pollution of the groundwater. Levels of arsenic and monitoring wells at the site are several times higher than the groundwater protection standards. There are two options for Alabama Power. The company can either cap the coal ash in place or take it somewhere else to be disposed. Alabama Power cites a recent study showing about two thirds of coal ash ponds across the country are being capped in place. We, the citizens, demand clean energy from renewable resources like wind, solar, and hydropower. This will create well-paying jobs and a healthy and safe future for this generation and all generations to come. We're confident that EPA and ADEM have followed the rules in place. This permit's protective of public health and the environment. And at this point, to go and change, to move the goalpost, to say this is what you have to do, here's the process. These rules have been in development for almost 10 years. To, to move the goalpost now uh, would be very costly for Evan Power. It would also just send a, a bad message to the, to the entire uh, business community. The main concern I have right now is that it's already leaking. We know that there are contaminants being leaked into our groundwater. And what are the, considering the long-term impacts of that to our ecosystem. People who are unable to attend the meeting have until 5 p.m. on April 6th to submit their comments in writing. In Sarah Land, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5. And you can find more information, arguments on both sides of this issue and information from Alabama Power and the environmental group Baykeeper all on our website, WKRG.com.